Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Uh, today we're going to make a little snack for Penny and I. <laughs> but we've been eating these, they're pretty good. Uh, we're going to make um, tostadas, but we're going to use the uh, lentils, the lentil tortilla shells that I made. So they taste really good. It takes a couple minutes to put them together. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we have the basic star of the show. Look at this. I just want to show you guys. I just took it out of the um, toaster, but it looks pretty much like a tostada shell, and it feels like it too. <laughs> okay, so I got some salt and pepper there, some hot sauce, and refried beans. And this is We bought this in a, in a can. We bought the old El Paso, I think it was. This here is turkey that we mixed with um, some salt and pepper, uh, some cumin, and then some taco seasoning with a quarter a cup of uh, chicken broth when I cooked it. That's our bag of uh, mozzarella cheese we're going to use. See that? No fat. Okay. Here we have lettuce, tomato, and onion. That's all we need to do. Okay, so we got the uh, our basic tortilla thing here. And by the way, these things are really good. If you guys haven't made any, you really need to try it. <laughs> they are. They're easy to make. And they 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 handle really good in a toaster. We figured that out when we wanted to try something new, something different with the uh, tostada. But see, at least uh, with this, you know, uh, making our own shells, well, it, it, it's conducive to what Penny does for that Weight Watchers thing. So it gives you another option of a nice, tasty meal, and it does taste good. Anyway, so we sprinkle some of this here on there. Not sprinkle, but smear it in there. And then we're going to put some meat on top of there. Let me get another fork. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now we put the, uh, the meat on. And like I said, this is turkey. Uh... You can mix it. You can put beef on there if you wanted to. This is just something because it makes it a zero point for me and Penny. Okay. And with that taco seasoning, then you really can't tell too much difference over the turkey versus the beef. Where's the beef? Remember that commercial? <laughs> was it Wendy's, I think, was that? Was that it? I don't know. But anyway, okay, so a little more meat there. I'm going to put a little bit of drizzle hot sauce on there, and we're going to put some cheese on top of this, and we got to put it in the microwave for a little bit. This is no point cheese at a quarter of a cup, so we're just going to... I got that quarter of a cup thing down pretty well. There's a lot of shredded cheese in that quarter of a cup, but this will be good. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we'll be right back. I'm going to put this in the microwave. When it's back out, we'll be back. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle just a tad bit of salt and pepper on there after it come out of the microwave. The microwave made it kind of soft, but that's good. The, the taste is there, the flavor. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of onion. Penny likes the crunch of the onion so we don't cook it. <laughs> and it gives it a nice flavor also. It's, it's all good. It's all about the flavor. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to toss this on a little bit of tomato. Tomato, potato, whatever. If I can open up this stupid bag. Seriously, it was folded over. <laughs> okay. Put some tomato on there. And, you know, I, I dice these up pretty nice, but you, you can put slices on there, whatever you like. You can put some jalapenos on there, which we should have did, but we wasn't thinking. I made some, put some jalapeno in the turkey meat, but we should have put some on top of here. But that's okay. That's another recipe. Just add some papalinos to it. And we bought a bag of shredded lettuce because we were lazy the other day. 
We'll just top that off with a little bit of lettuce. Make sure you get your rabbit food. Okay. So there we have it. We'll be right back. Ready? Okay, this is Mr. Dan at the taste test table with Mr. Elmo and Camera Girl. Okay, so let me uh, delve into this. I'm telling you, he's uh, that's got a nice little crunch to it there. Okay, so. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you guys try this, you'd make them all the time. And lentils are delicious, they're healthy for you, nutritious, protein, iron. All right, I'm going to share this here with Miss Penny. So without further ado, that was delicious. Holy moly. When you're out and about, cover up, protect yourself as well as others. Wash your hands, wash your hands when you're out and about. Take that spray, sanitizing spray or gel. Use that before you drive off. When you get home, wash your hands again. Don't talk with your mouth full unless it's another delicious dish just like this. Hit us with the like button, share with your friends, family. Subscribe if you haven't yet. When you do a little notification bell will pop up, you hit that. And every time we put a new video out, you'll be notified. A little arrow down right below the video box there, you hit that. Drop, drop down box will come down. You have the uh, Coco and Mr. Dan Facebook page link and also a link to my daughter's artwork site. And a complete recipe on what we just did today to include the ingredients and how we did it. So, this is Mr. Dan saying stay hungry, my friends. And when you are, come back and we'll give you another delicious dish just like this. We're out.